Beautiful Ignited Souls, we are ready for a new creation. Beautiful Ignited Souls, I am Crime Queen, your partner in crime. And this is where I am, okay, ready to break the law of silence because you had not been told. You probably have been baptized um, in some Christian setting and, you know, you praise the Lord and you worship and you do all of those things. But there have been some hidden gems in the Bible and they have not been telling you about it. Now, there's a thing that come to mind. I think it was in the story of Joseph or one of those who had the, um, they wanted something and the maidens or the, the wives or whoever it was, they hid their earrings and they had to, it was like an offering. And I always wondered what is the um, significance of the earring that they had hidden. Now, um, while I'm asking this, I am just remembering if some things, you know, they buried it, it was like saying, okay, um, earring, is that the earth has a vibration and it is so important that we get grounded. The word air, for instance, is um, because airing is really like we we have that, the, the, um, the drums, the air drums. So if there's a drum, there is a ringing. And this is another thing that just reminds me, perhaps somebody needs to hear this, why I'm saying this. If you're having this airing, it is the earth vibration communicating with you because your ancestors or someone or whatever had buried the earrings and is now giving you divine messages because these are in, um, knowledges or wisdom is growing now. Everything is for a time and season. So we're talking about there's always a burial. G the God was always talking about breaking, building, um, burning and those kind of things. So this is not so much what I had planned to, to speak on, but something tells me I had to mention this. So, and especially the word air is also in the middle of the word heart. Earth and heart. So, um, I, in fact, this really tells me as, as well why we why we wear earrings and why in the the Egyptian gods they all wore earrings. So, <laughs> these are things that numerology um, has taught me. So everything has been taught um, about the sacrifice template. I have spoken about the significance or the construct of language and. So when it is said that we should hide things, uh, I don't know if I really completed this about um, um, from the black person because black is actually, yes, I did complete it because black is actually in this free section. The word B-L-A-C-K only comes with one, two, three, so which is a sack. But however, it is like saying something is hidden within you. It is like, um, because even the word, um, so like a book is also something you hide, but this is like fake, like book. Um, I'm saying, I was about to say fake. You, you hide, it's like hiding something from yourself. You, you do not realize all the things like you are, for instance, all your heart, everything, all your organs are within you and they are not external. So you could say you are hiding. You So God is hiding within you. That's why they say the truth is within you. So I hope you get this. But I just want to really speak on the things that I plan to speak on. So here we are. Um... Back to the sacrifice. Let's just go on to this. We have spoken about the 666. We have spoken how they add the um, elements, the protons, the neutrons, the electrons. You've had that. And sorry if I'm just going um, really fast here because I want to be able to pause on the things that I really want to speak on. We have also seen like in black, I'm just speaking on that. As we said, there were two threes. Um, this reminds me of a video that had had me feeling very emotional because I realized that the number three or the symbol, because they're symbols, three is actually so powerful it can um, break you. It's like a handcuff. It reminds me of a handcuff. It can actually... Um, 
um, bring together it's like it, it, it's very big it can bring together yet it can break apart so this is why I think um, who was it sang Queen I think I want to break free I want to break free from mother da, 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 da. okay you you I hope you get that note so you can identify the song <laughs> okay so um, this is where one is wanting to break free. This B. This is so. We've spoken on this. Now, adding for, um, 6 plus 9 equals 15. So 1 plus, 1 plus 5 is 6. So basically, if we had to look at the word 15, for instance, we would have 3, 15, which equals 11 each. 15 is 11. So that means that it's just repeating the cycle, if you like, or whatever, in the sense of um, the Trinity. Okay, but 15 equals 11, and but 1 plus 5 is 6. And so this is why this is the 666. So when Christians are speaking about all kinds of things you can get, of course, no um, dispute, but the maths here, people, because that's the creativity that is being shown here, which is 6 on the clock here, is saying you need to master this sacrifice you need to master it's like all the games like um there's a, a race which is a potato you uh, calls um potato race or something you're in a sack and you have to run try and jump so basically all the games are about this every game whether it was football basketball whatever it is the first one we learn about is about hide and seek there is something being hiding there, someone is seeking, and you need to try and work your way out of the sack, out of the game. There is always a riff. Of course, once you're out, you see what's been happening, you get angry. There is a riff that is created between you and whoever you feel is responsible for you being here, whether it was your grandparents, your ancestors, whatever it is, or the white or the black, whoever it is, you are now seeing things in a new light. This is where you become in, you're saying, oh, Christ. But of course, you go for a developmental stage here. Now, when you get to this stage where it's like a whole new game, of course, because you are facing the ice, this ice stage here, it's like, of course, ice, then you realize ice is water. It's actually water, but it's frozen, it's cold, but it can also then get hot. For it to get hot, it's H, O, it's got to go back. Everything got to go back here. If for it to be warm, it's W, it's got to go here. R, M, it's got to go here. So everything about the water and everything that we could possibly need to create, we need to be there of head. This is why Jesus was with the, with the 12 disciples and he was for was 13 of them and by breaking bread and um, sharing with them and you know like shaking hands once you shake hands you become equal that's your you've agreed that's a deal you are equal on that so they at he says break and he gave them of course for you to give someone something they have to accept or whichever way it is that makes you equal you agree and then there's the two equal sign here. This is why we have the equal sign and then it forms a bond. B for bond. That's why for you to now go through the next stage, you have to break the bond. You have to break or build or bury or um, I have some build, um, burn. Or, um, and Jesus gave you the last one. He says to believe because now in believe, he gives you the lie in the middle of the word believe because it, re it requires you to more or less lie to yourself for you to because it's like getting an image and I think the word image also equals it also equals eight and for you so for you to get that image you have to it's lie so that's why the wonderful wisdom of of um 
numerology of the two serpents they are actually one i'm hoping you can see this one is actually fake you could say ke and one is actually your fate eh? that's why people are always like oh is it fate are, are we destined to be but we have the illusionary aspect of whatever fate is and they both actually equal and the fate of course once you the fake which is ake um is also um the same numerical value 14 14 so they both 14 um um so they both 14 that that tells you you need and this is where jesus and judas because jesus is five letters one plus four is five judas is also five letters of course and one was fake one was fate so who it oh my So I have had this realization, there's 11 minutes, 11 on the clock. This realization, I have been asking, Jesus gave of his, oh, he gave of his bread, is the bread, broke bread and gave, and, and wine, but, and they drank. Either he didn't eat of it, of it, and, or he didn't drink of it. There's one he didn't do. But that is to say that that was the discrepancy that would be representing the fate and the and the fake right here oh my this numerology is taking me somewhere it's like from here to eternity 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 people this um language of which is of again 35 characters numbers and letters 26 letters nine numbers and that comes to eight of course, um, 35, 3 plus 5 is 8. And this is what we are talking. Whenever they ate, people, it goes back to Genesis. And a woman ate and she gave to her husband. And he also did eat. Did is it. Did eat. Whenever you see did eat or did eat or eat, there are two eights. And these two eights are coming together, 8 and 8 plus 16, to form one. This is a whole one creation happening here, people. And of course, I have showed you the magnitude of 16, which we won't go into it because that can really give, give us schizophrenic. <laughs> um, uh, so that is so much. But this also tells me that there is something, and perhaps it's no wonder why I'm coming to the end of this cycle here. Judas... Because because it's like Jude, and it's Judah, Judas. He has the A, which is the first letter of the alphabet, and Jesus, J E S U S. Oh my! This is not what I really wanted to go on, but I have to go because the gods are giving me something here. J U S E S. J E S U S. They both have the U S, which I have done. J okay, so um, Jesus, of course, he's there with the two serpents too. You know, representing the two serpents here, and um, which of course has to work. And we see the story here. It's like the S representing one. So he's got that in the middle in the middle here to be able to work through the fake if you like the fake fake or true it doesn't matter 
but here we have Judas D, which is this hair. So these two hair D, which is forming a foundation, because Judas was really forming a foundation hair. So hair we would say was signifying the death hair, and and it's like he is saying, you know, it's like D hair is like saying as as S, more or less. So this, these two are very significant to forming Eve, to forming the five. In the middle we have of Jesus is the S. You could say it's the serpent. In the middle of Judas is the D, which is four, which is the re representing all the work of the four of the 40 because this is where he said he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights just like children of israel um, in wandering in the land for 40 years just like noah for 40 um it rained for 40 so all these four that was happening here people where do you really get the gem of your makeup, of your transformation? It is in the process of the D. It is D. That's why D sounds like V. Wherever you say V to be able to point and say V and which you are V. Right here, it's in D. It's in the dome, it's in the breast, it's in the buttocks, it's in the dome. D. So, because this is what, oh, this is so delicious, people. So we see that Judas, of course, E, Jesus, also is representing Eve here with the E. Let's not forget that. And is telling us a story. Of course, they both are telling us something. Now, A, of course, but Judas has two of these, in fact, three. Jesus, right, this is it. So Judas, of course, was buried, we could say, because we have J, well, where is J? Um, J, U, D. So Judas was able to venture out of this one two three and he's there he's strong that's a d um there's something uh d another d uh, instrument comes come to me and so d now but jesus of course ventures further and he goes into e and this is why they said when you were in christ you are a new creature but because jesus went and found the e right here Okay, in the middle, actually, Jesus actually went and found Eve right in the middle of all of these hair. Okay, now, um, there's something else I want to say. I think E is the, um, let's see, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So E is actually the 14th letter here again. 1 plus 4 is 5. Okay, so here and um, people, there's the creativity of of language of the gift that we have been given to um, multiply, replenish, subdue, um, be fruitful and have dominion. They don't come in the order that I have said. So this is where we need to use our discretion and and, and be conscious more of being conscious about what. Um, we are doing, thinking, speaking, and so on. But it's about the word, the word. So even with the numbers, of course, we can still, the numbers actually transform into word. So it's about the word. And so the um, people who really know this secret have constructed the games, the spiritual games, the spiritual politics, it's politics as well. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to find a word to, to call it um, spiritual, spiritual, well, it's a tick. <laughs> okay, it's right here. So I'm hoping I have, and to show as well, um, where's my feather gone? Okay. 
to show about the template, the, how robust this template is, of course, as I say, it represents everything. You will not only understand about politics like um, Biden and Trump, both equal seven. You will not only understand that which seven is the serpent, as I have said, please watch those videos. Um, the word serpent is seven, which is again the caduceus. Um, we'll see that um, as we have here, I have showed with the beast, um, again, uh, my trail of thoughts here is that, yeah, so on this side, for instance, this is why we have been locked in the mindset that white is right. I have showed this W, W, H, I, Onihe, T, and go back to E. This is it. So the white is actually when we say I in control or whatever we see um, or feel oppressed or, or whatever it is, that's because white is very, is very, it's a set. They are set. It is a setting that is required for us to know how to not only be part of the set, but how to break the set. Because that's what God was asking. The two eights. As I say, you have to break it. That's why when you eat, you break food. You have to break it. IT is 11. You have to break that. Break the code. And this is why I want to remind you that the Bible, you are the mobile Bible, which are words and, and that are codes you have to break. So here is what is on to the right. 11 letters, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11 letters, 11 letters all onto the right people. The only thing that it needs to keep it right is a nail to say, yes, that is it. And you go there in the basket again with the T to say, yes, T is like you nail it. It's like a nail right here. So, of course, this is why when people are in this cycle, they are fi finding it hard to take off the nail. This is why you had all the um, terms as well uh, about um, to nail the, the last nail in the coffin. I just have to smile since uh, coffin equals 35 and the characters of language totals 35. Does that mean we are locked in language? Does that mean we are dead in language? So we definitely have to break it to make it. The tomb is 14. So you have to master the uh, when you are in the tomb to resurrect from the tomb like Jesus and being in the configura uh, transfiguration and, and then to have this come out of the basket take a break that is why the word break here tea break i'm going to use this little space here because i just don't want to take anything else out b r e a k because jesus broke bread and he broke and he i don't i'm trying to remember if they use the word break or broke and he and he okay so um two nine five one two so this is um, 9, this is 10, 15, um, 15, 19, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 is 10. And this is, of course, what I have showed how Judas, so take a break, is like you are planting again because Judas equals 10. This is, this, um, that's the power of 10 because every time you take a break, you're breaking the food you are planting for to get that nourishment to grow again. So tea break is actually, or they say tea time. So time is 20. So tea is eight. So if you have tea and time, it's tea time. They are announced. That means it's 10. Ready to break from what you're doing. You go into another thing. One is masculine. And the zero is feminine. One, you could say, is also seven. And the knot is four. 
adding these together we as 10 in word form people 1 equals 7 not equals 13 which the word not equals 13 which is 4 and then it gives you another 11 this is how we continue get in two so they get getting two so this is why you are beginning to understand yourself how you do things when do you want to create what are you creating you always need to be delving now people <laughs> please i just want when i'm ready to load this up that I do this with is so I'm going to call on the gods to help me here to make this succinct and as short as possible so that I can give you the points and um, so let us uh, wake up from the deep sleep and you know to get that um, allow ourselves to be again immunized with the um, knowledge or wisdom of the 14 gods we are needing to be wise to take some time to travel whether time travel time again time travel and of course in the headquarter zones the zones the head the inland revenue go the into the inland and that's why everything that um abraham and um ready to give up his um son isaac for the land this is what we need to understand the sacrifice he burned the fire build the altar alteration to be able to to acquire the land but you are the land and this is what is required of you on these rituals and sacrifices that you do now they happen in the churches people but do you get to understand the ramifications or the complicate implications or the significance of these rituals whether it is every three months you have the first communion or you commune you have as as jesus said every time you do this do it in remembrance of me and churches have had significant numerical values as in the times that they do this whether it's every three months every three months months is actually mass and again whether it was every um two, two weeks or fortnight whatever it is but they do this and again we speak of the number 14 whether you are having it as in quarantine so the seed can actually be embedded in you and grow okay so um let's so we see that on to the right so i have done here left and right of course, before I do this, let's just finish with the mark of the beast. I just did that as mark of the beast, which is also showing nine. It also shows like 27. It comes to 27, two sevens of 14. So this is the beast that we are talking about, the serpents, the two serpents that you have to master the two serpents come in language language people language numbers and letters okay so i'm going to take this off and so it gives me some degree of perspective here or light i could write on here so left and right how many letters again so we have five letters of course five like mother eve mother eve is right then we have four left is also saying to us left remember we are talking about um the dead dead what is left behind four equals dead like in um like death okay let's see d-e-a-t-h or dead or something so this is 10 um 10 20 so 20 is actually 8 as well. I have to do this um, in 20 in word form. But of course, in numerology, because we are showing you the different aspects. When you get this as 8, know all what it represents. 8 also equals death. It also equals death. Because it means that this is why you had in China. China equals 8. And you had virus equals eight. Then there was a break out, people. That's where we are told that these things don't happen by chance. That's where um, the CV um, broke out. 
So again, this is the God happening here. So two eights. Now, the Chinese, of course, we all like Chinese food. Um, uh, uh, they rever eight because it is a very, very um, symbolic, um, very tight, very um, strong number. It actually re, um, strength. It actually consists of two threes, if you like, in symbol, in symbol symbolic way to say that how strong it is because the word strength also equals three but what happens is that to get change there comes a time just as in the word um one equals 16 it consists of two eights two eights a 16 and to have this new world um formation or order or whatever is happening you have to have, you have to have the two eights, like in Adam and Eve. Adam ate and his wife ate two eight. Eight and eight comes to 16, and one plus six is seven, of course, and God rested. The word rest, when God rested, equals eight. This is how the game is played out, because they know they can still come back and eat, because eight equals eight. So, now, 2, let's look, go back to 2. 2 also equals 13. 1 plus 3, as in the word 2, T-W-O, equals 13. 1 plus 3 is 4. And so, that's how death also is in 4. Of, okay. So, we have right. That means we saw how white is always right. I have done videos on this, and I'll try and put them all together. And so, but the black are left behind because we are taught when we are writing, when we write our I-T-E, we are writing towards the right. We are moving towards the right. The God of movement is going towards the right. Now, what happens here, people? What happens here? Look at the word right. We have done read. Look at the words right. W R. I, both in, head, in Inland Revenue, actually. So if you write a book, you have to pay taxes on it in Inland Revenue. W, R, I, W. W is always like, yeah, you know, the fake. You could say the fake and the, and the, uh, and the, and the fit. Okay. And so, and T, but always going back here. Always going back on this side either to read or to write always needing to be here so e and a is what they would find on here not e because e is here but it's t a t so they always have to be at here in this at this at the sack at one, two, three, at um, the basket, at the bucket, and so on. Everything about to read and write. And that is why they say, if you need, you want to hide something from a black person or from a, you hide it in a book. What is a book, people? What is a book? A book consists of eight, eight. Okay, so let's look at this. Now, have I completed the right here? So, W, and what does right consist of? It's like 9, 9, that's 20, 30. And so that was the 30 pieces of silver. Just like, oh, okay, 30 pieces of silver. So if you write, that's why they say you write something, you write it, it's like, it's the cost. Because once you write it, you cannot unwrite it. Okay. You can cross it, <laughs> not write it. Okay. And um, so, there. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not... Um, so, let's um, look at... We have seen that there's 11 set onto, onto here. And how many set here? One, two, three, four, five. And so five is set here and 11 is set here. Now, what do we see? What do we see? Jesus was there. 
and Christ is here. So perhaps, perhaps the main thing is that we really learn how to master the art of one, two, three. Perhaps that's what it is because we see here is the Christ. But however, we also see we need to master this 11 people to be able to understand hair. The serpents are hair. They, they could be ice, they could be cold, they could be whatever. Temperature is happening. It's really showing hair. Because, and that's the reef, as we said, when you're in the sack, it's like what happens? It's like crabs in the sack or, you know, a sack. And there, for you to come out of the sack, someone, because to be in a sack, you may have to get tied in the sack. Look at the word tie. T is the tie hair. I E. T I E. Then we have tight, of course, is T I G G H. Again, T. It's like almost um, using your own resources, your own self to imprison yourself. People are using your own resources, your own language, your own um, nature, your own personality, your own weaknesses, your own strengths, because they are able to travel, to study, to formulate, to read and write, and to trap you in this section. I could hear a fire alarm okay well i'm hoping that what i'm saying here is firing some truth at you in a way that you really get it okay okay it stopped now um so when I, that happens it's not by chance it happens that you, there's a fire alarm going it's not by chance it is asking you to be alarmed right now to be alert <laughs> okay be conscious now, um, so here we have, for instance, we see new is really like versatile. So it's like the whatever, as long as there's movement, there's newness happening here. Well, transfer newness. Here we have like, uh, we had five. We have seen how five is. Five is Mother Eve. Five is Christ. Five is Pyramid. Five is your five fingers, your five senses, your five and everything else. But even when we speak of the sixth sense, for instance, the word five and six are still have the same value of 20. Um, six is um, S-I-X to make sure that I've got this right, which is six. This is 10, which is 16. Wow, six is 16. So this is why when you get to the six, it gives you that endless, um, endless meaning or whatever it is. But um, there is something six, uh, um, five actually gives you six. Yeah. Five is 24, which gives you six. Okay, right. So there you, five. So five actually has, has got the six factor as well, which is right here as well, as we can see. Five, because we can see five has this here, three fives of 15. So it gives you the six. One plus five is six. It gives you that factor here. Or adding the block together for five, six, which is 15 as well, gives you that six factor. So this is what we are talking about here. Now, um, so just to, um, I may have to go back to this one here, but let's, let's look at this here. So you're left, you're left, but the word left, oh, is actually... I had it on here. Um, okay, we'll go back on this. The, is actually felt. The word let is actually how you get, because you're in a sack, you are actually feeling all kinds of, this is why like in quarantine, for, for instance, you are in a sack, you are restricted. That means that you, um, 
in the 14 day quarantine, for instance, that people were having all kinds of emotions coming up, all kinds of sensations. This is where violence have, have increased, um, all kinds of things um, because it, they need to come up so they can be examined so you can know what to trash out and what to hold on to. And that is what is happening here. One, as I say, one, two, three is six. The word six, this is what happens. This is where um, the, the gods are speaking to me now. This is six, nine, one. This is 16 and one plus six is seven. So they are saying that this is creation is happening there creation and air and a lot of creation is happening here but the thing that has really um more creation is happening here but because people have used codes there's the codes here of the 11 of the medicine so basically you are being given this 11 tablets in codes of words that you are meant to be able to read to read because read and write and if you do not read and write I would suggest that you read your own or write your own life story even if you don't publish it write it even if you don't publish it because this is the key people this is the key so I was saying actually the book B when we spoke about um, China or Buddhism, for instance, Buddhist actually, or Buddhist actually equals eight, or Buddhism equals eight, and that's how Chinese people are evolving so much. Everything is for a season, yes, but they are breaking the eights. They have the eight, and they keep eating and breaking, breaking, breaking. They're breaking barriers in all the islands of the um, Caribbean, Africa. They're breaking, breaking, because what? They found that this is what they are breaking. And so there's two things. We are talking about two, six, six, two. And you can see the pattern, people. In the middle here is the two knots. Now, knot in itself is 13, another 13. If you look at it in no number form, is 13. There's an 8. So, they, there's an 8 in book. That's why you hear about bookworm. Where would, where would you find a worm if, if there is not some dead thing there in the worm? So, people, that's why you have um, the book and you add a book. Um, something like this came to me as well. You talk, they use a um, sleeve for, for the covering of the book. This is saying the, the, um, the covers of the book, your skin, all those things where the, um, a page you, you are... Um, then you say we speak about this or, the, or this is another page of my life or this is another chapter of my life. Yet still the more the higher truth or the deeper truth or essence of that you are the actual codes of every book you can find and every um, atom and everything that you you are that. So you need to activate that from within. This is why I have embarked on TRSHC, which also is abbreviation, but equals 23 as 5 for healing for people who have been sexually abused or molested or traumatized or anything like that. And that is a way to show um, this healing of five days actually um, anchors or hinges on all five aspects of your makeup or your senses or hearing, tasting, um, feeling and all of those sensations when you will learn how to break it or break it. So this is what we are talking about here. So we always still see that we need both. We do need both. We are talking about the the um the five vowels for instance and you only have the one vowel here we have the other vowels on the other side here these are the consonants here so people how we need to understand what are the significance of the vowels who are they musical what is it what um 
the five oceans, what do what sins begin to look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself these questions and see what um what wonderful essence you can capture uh, of who you truly are and what you represent as a creative being. So this is really for your spiritual guidance, something to anchor on, something to harness on. And this is actually what you ought to call your salvation. Your salvation is in the 30, 35 characters of that form's language, which is um, letters and, and numbers. It's your salvation is in the um, number seven, twice which is letters numbers you need to work with both of these to find your salvation when we speak of your salvation yes is in number 11 like we see with jesus of course but paying the price of the 30 pieces of silver which i have covered with judas but also planting because judas it's always a bad pair and it's a bad the pair is two jesus and judas just as we had Cain and Abel, or Esau and Isaac, or Jacob, whichever it is. Or um, in any two things you see that communication is happening, or uh, Joseph and his brothers, whatever it is, we see that you need two. Two also is going to be that that represents death and also life. Okay, unity and division. So it's like time, an hourglass. This is why I think they do the hourglass. <laughs> I know I used to be very good at drawing, but let's do this. I do the hourglass. This is this is what it is. It's the bad of time. So one's up, one's down. Okay, but you get my truth. My excuse is that I'm working like this, so I'm not really direct. Okay. <laughs> 